The master's degree in medicine and surgery in Italy spans for six years. But it's not just about the time commitment. There are other several factors and procedure which need to be followed along the way. In this video, I will explain all the key steps and give you a clear timeline and to understand what does it take to become a doctor in Italy. Whether you are planning this journey or you are already on this way, this video will help you to what to expect. So hi everyone, this is me, Amir Uptara, medicine and surgery student at University of Messina. I am also the founder of Future Meds Academy, an online study platform which helps students to prepare for IMED examination. Before starting this video, I would like to give credit to Maham Oves, a senior medical student at University of Messina who wrote this article which I am using for this video. The very first question is, how does the education system work in Italy? The medical education system in Italy is divided into two phases, the preclinical phase and the clinical training. The preclinical phase in Italy spans for two to three years. In this, students get a solid foundation regarding the four subjects of medical sciences like biology, biochemistry, anatomy, histology, physiology, and other four subjects. I have also listed the curriculum of University of Travagata to understand more clearly how does the uh, subjects breakdown happens in the six years of medicine surgery. Uh, the clinical phase marks a pivotal shift from theoretical knowledge to practical training. Starting in third or fourth year, students engage in hospital rotation and so different specialties, for example, pediatric general medicine and general surgery. This phase allow students to get clinical critical skills, patient interaction techniques and other professional techniques which a student need in the medical world. In this video, I have listed the six year subjects of University of Darwagata so that you can get a brief idea about what is taught and most of the universities have the same curriculum although they have a different study plan. For example, the University of uh, Ancona gives you engineering integration courses up to three years of medicine surgery. So what subjects you can expect in the six years of medicine surgery? So in year one, you can expect subjects like biology, histology, and embryology. Uh, human anatomy and clinical practice is one. Additionally, in year two, you can expect subjects like physioimmunology, immunopathology, human anatomy too, biochemistry and molecular biology, microbiology, physiology, and clinical practices too. Uh, in year three, we can expect subjects like clinical symptomatology, general pathology and physiopathology, laboratory medicine, human sciences, systemic pathology one, clinical practices two. Clinical practices three additionally. So in year four, you can expect subjects like anatomic pathology, pharmacology, public health, uh, uh, and systemic pathology three. In year five, there are, these are the main core subjects of uh, medicine and surgery. Uh, you can expect diagnostic imaging and radiotherapy, musculoskeletal diseases, neurological sciences, psychiatry, general surgery, internal medicine and genetics, obstetrics and gynecology, Pediatric sciences. In year six, you can expect subjects like dermatology and plastic surgery, general surgery, internal medicine and uh, genetics, specialistic disciplines, clinical practices six, emergencies and forensic medicine. So honestly, giving a review from my side, the six years medicine surgery program in Italy is well organized and integrated properly. So when you become a doctor after studying medicine and surgery from Italy, you you have a real good knowledge on theoretical skills as well as the practical knowledge. Let's discuss about the white coat ceremony. So at the beginning of third year, Italian medical students participate in the white coat ceremony, which is a symbolic event where they receive their white coats and take an oath to uphold the principles and ethics of medicine. This marks the transition of the theoretical learning to practical skills. So following this, after receiving their white Right course students follow their theoretical rotations. It's mostly happen in third and fourth year. Most of the university do it in third year and most of the university even do it in four, early in the fourth year. After getting the white course students are involved in the hospital rotations and get the real time experience with the patient. The next important topic is the examination. So in Italian medical school most of the examinations are oral. However there are certain examinations which can be written as well in the early stage of medicine and surgery. And many subjects are interconnected with each other forming an integrated course. The system shows the leniency to the student for, because students get Get a lot of calls in the end of one academic year. For example, if you want to take exam in February session, you can take exam in February. Or if you want to take in March session, you can take in March or rather in June. The Italian medical schools uh, gives you a leniency to choose the date where you want to take the examination. The very important thing you need to know about the Italian medical examination is that if you fail in the particular examination, it doesn't stop you from promoting for the second year. For example, if you fail the exam on molecular biology in first year, you can still keep the exam in second year and it will not stop you from going in in year and third year. However, it is important to know that uh, unless and until you complete all your examinations, it's not possible for you to graduate. The time doesn't matter even some students can graduate up to nine years. Next question, how are exams graded in Italy? So in medicine surgery program in Italy, you need to have at least 360 CFU credits, which means that every year you need to have 60 CFU. The number of credit depends on the number of hours of the particular integrated course. You, When you pass the exam, you earn the credit associated with that course. Every exam is scored of 30 marks in which you have to maintain at least 18 minimum marks and the maximum marks can be given as 30L. 
which is given for the exceptional performance about her team. Uh, additionally, students have the right to reject their score. For example, after every exam, the professor proposes a score and the student has the right to whether he want to accept it or reject it. For example, if the professor of immunology gives uh, the student marks 18 and he want to reject it, he can say that I want to reject the marks and I, I want to take the exam in the next call. So this is how the Italian medical school exam system works. Anyway, that was getting a little bit hot, so I decided to remove my hoodie. So next, next important thing which we can discuss is Tirochino Professionalizante Velitavio Par Esame Di Stato, that is TPVS internship. First of all, apologies for my Italian pronunciation because I'm still learning this language and I'm in the face of that. So. Uh, once the student successfully completed his fourth year and al also passed all the examination till fourth year, he is eligible to apply for the TPVES internship. Uh, previously, the internship was completed after the graduation, but from 2019-2020 academic year, the ministry has decided to integrate it with medicine and surgery program. Uh, so, technical in English, you can say professionalizing and evaluate internship uh, for the state exam. So, in India or in Pakistan or maybe a lot of countries, uh, there is internship which is already integrated with the medicine and surgery program, MBBS program or MD program. In the same way, a Italian ministry has also integrated uh, TPVS internship. So, technically, this internship is for three months in which they keep your brief idea in general medicine area, emergencies medicine and general surgery. Uh, you can perform uh, a lot of different things. This structure will allow you to gain a high-known professional experience in this area before even capturing the practical knowledge after your state exam. So this structural internship provides students with practical experiences by key medical areas, preparing them transition from academic learning to professional practice. So the TPVS ensures the graduates are well equipped and skills of knowledge necessary to excel the medical careers and serve the, in the community effectively. Uh, an important aspect of the internship is to maintain the comprehensive logbook or the booklet, which serves as a record of the activities of whatever activities you are doing and the hospital rotation. So this uh, booklet is regularly updated and uh, and should be kept under the supervision of a supervisor or the professor you are working with. So it is basically act as a formal document to track your practical experience and ensuring that all your required tasks are completed on time. So once you completed your TPVS internship, you move forward with your medical thesis. So the medical thesis is typically started by the end of the fifth year or in the beginning of the sixth year postgraduate program. So it holds a very a significant importance in your graduation because uh, without the medical thesis, you can't graduate. It is crucial for students plan their thesis and degrees accordingly because delaying the thesis can also lead to complication in your graduation. And you can be put into the into the category known as Fauri Corso, which means that the degree has been extended uh, above the standard duration of the program. So the thesis accounts for 18 credits and the, in the degree program, it is mandatory requirement for the final examination. To qualify, students must have completed all their examinations done and all the courses should be passed. It needs to be done under the supervision of an academic advisor. It serves the student first for a, a scientific research emphasizing originality and critical inquiry. There are two types of thesis. The first thesis is literature review thesis, also known as Tesi Compilativa or observational thesis. And the second one is experimental thesis, also known as Tesi Sperimentale. It involves conducting original research such as data analysis, clinical or preclinical investigation, systemic review or meta-analysis. So technically you can choose either of them and you can 18 credits so on the day when you graduate you do your thesis medical thesis and on the day you have to make sure that you are you are defending your thesis on the graduation day so during this difference you will be asked questions related to thesis and your response should contribute to the overall score the maximum score is 110 for this and it depends on how you tackle the questions which are asked on the thesis so uh, universities typically provide a style guide that dictates specification and length of thesis. They will be giving you how to do spacing, placement, logos, positioning, bibliography format or additionally the style will also impact on your score of the presentation because whatever marks you get it is not about your defending it also depends on your presentation and how well did you have compiled that all documents together. The decision will not only affect the appearance of the thesis, but also the cost of your pricing. So now let's discuss the day we all waited for, the graduation day. So in Italy, multiple graduation days are offered according to the requirement of the students and which can be fit for your schedule. For example, you might have one graduation day in February, the other one in July and the last one in September. The choice depends on when you complete all the required procedure and your documentation and which works best for you. So on graduation day, you will lead and present and defend your thesis in front of a committee made up of professor, uh, fellow graduates, family and friends. 
So you will first present and do your research work and afterward the committee will ask some questions and you need to different them accordingly. So based on your presentation, the clarity of your response as I told before, you will get a score uh, under 110. The maximum can be 110. The score you receive depends on several factors, including the quality of research you did, the presentation skills and how effectively you answer. So once you are done with the thesis, you will receive your score and you are ready to graduate. In Italy, graduate, graduation happens something differently, which makes it more unique. So the graduates wear the iconic gown uh, and the corona di allora, means laurel crown, a symbol of Roman tradition that stands for academic achievement. Flowers are often gifted by family and the honors for graduate success. Then you ha you get photographs and celebrations. But that is not it yet. Uh, you are still not ready to uh, practice as a physician. You must go through some procedure to work as a medical doctor in Italy. So now let's discuss about the state exam. Uh, the ultimate step is passing the SMO di Stato. After successfully completing six years of your med school, uh, you must undertake a six month of placement in a hospital and to and also pass the national exam to become a registered generalist. Once registered with the Medical Professional Association, you can begin practice immediately. So you can practice immediately after six months of your graduation, uh, after completing your six years medicine surgery. And in the six months, you can also take a placement in a hospital. If you aspire to specialize, you will need to complete a three to six years of residency, either in Italy or either you want to go to UK or USA or back home to India. Uh, admissions to your preferred residency program depends on your test scores and overall academic progression and overall academic performance. Residency positions are limited annually as determined the Ministry of Education, making the process highly competitive. But this fosters a high standard in the medical world. Uh, this is the most important topic which needs to be discussed as Italian medical degree recognition abroad or uh, other countries except Italy. So recognizing an Italian medical school abroad depends on the country the your country the graduate wishes to practice in. For example, European Union countries have agreement that makes uh, recognition of degree almost immediate, while the UK, USA, and Canada have specific requirement or the English requirement test. For example, if you talk about EU countries, which is a Schengen countries, the Italy is a member of EU region, and so its medical degrees automatically recognize. Uh, other other EU and EEA countries due to mutual recognition agreements. Italian graduates can apply for registration with Medical Council of Europe of the country they are choosing to and sometimes a language certificate is required. Uh, for example, if an Italian medical graduate want to practice in Germany, they need to do B2 level of German and also B2 level of medical German. It is mandatory in order to practice in Germany. Uh, let's talk about Euro United Kingdom. So, United Kingdom Italian medical graduates must apply for GMC registration, provide documents approving their uh, degree and qualification, and also show proficiency in English language. For United States, the uh, uh, things are a little bit complex, so, but uh, at the same like other countries also, you have to crack an examination known as USMB, United States Medical License Examination. The U.S. is a rigorous for recognizing foreign medical degrees. Italian medical graduates must obtain ECFMG certification, which involves the passing of U.S. MLE Stage 1 and Stage 2, uh, CK, that is clinical knowledge, and CS, that is clinical skills. So they must provide primary source verification of their medical degree. After ECMFG certificate, the graduates must apply for residency program via uh, National Resident Matching uh, Program, that is NRMP. Uh, for Canada, the process in Canada is similar to that of U.S. Graduates must apply for Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Examination, MCQE, and complete the National Assessment Collaboration, NSC Examination. After this exam, they can apply for residency position through the Canadian Residence Marching Service, which is almost similar to the United States of America. So with this, we conclude the journey of studying medicine in Italy. This path is one of the dedication and hard work combining theoretical knowledge and practical skills to prepare students for a successful medical career. Thank you so much again for watching this video and thanks a lot to Maham always again for a beautiful research paper which she did. Have a great day and good luck with your medical studies. Bye.